The Red Lake Homeless Shelter Service Center has spent more than a decade helping those who need it most. Reporter Sherelle Moore tonight shares how they're bringing awareness to their cause with an annual feast. Today is the first day of winter, and for some that means cozy nights by the fire. But what about those who don't have a home? We uh, do it every year to actually honor all those that passed away that are homeless due to winter exposure. This is the 11th annual Homeless Memorial Feast. It's organized by the Red Lake Homeless Shelter Service Center. It's such a big issue going around uh, all of America. You know, it's not just here on our uh, small reservation, it's everywhere. First, we uh, started with the spirit fire, then we had the actual prayer and the drumming to actually honor all, all of those that passed away due to winter exposure. The food for the feast is donated by Red Lake Inc. And this dinner is only a small portion of what the center does. There are seven rooms and 18 beds meant for people who are struggling. There's also a full kitchen, washer, and dryer. So uh, thankful for open, open Your Heart because now we have two stackable washers and dryers. Staff is kind of like a, you know, a small family helping all of these families. That's why residents get along with some of our advocates really well because they, they uh, know exactly, they, they've been through what they've been feeling. Came at four o'clock and the tree was already up and there was extra decorations, and after dinner, I seen the extra decorations, so I decided to do some with the kids and told them to go sit down and write a letter to Santa. <laughs> we only help uh, anywhere from 250 to 300 people, and some of those numbers can be duplicated for uh, people coming in multiple times. This shelter has provided a safe place for hundreds of people over the years, and over the next few years, they're hoping to go, so that way they can help hundreds of more. Our uh, main priority is to get in pe people housed and make sure they maintain their housing. The nonprofit also hopes to add more grant programs and cultural activities in the future. And of course, they're always looking for members of the community to lend a helping hand. You know, if the public uh, wa wants to get involved in any way, they, you know, they can contact our uh, service center and that number can be reached at 218-679-3228. Reporting in Red Lake, Sheryl Moore, Lakeland News. The center is currently working on a website to help in their efforts to grow. It should be up and running in a couple of weeks. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.